Okay, today we're going to take a look at the Yuko Titan Stormproof Match Kit. I have a couple here. I got two. I got a box of 25 matches. Another box of 25. So first I'm going to unpackage these and then we're going to start a small fire. I chose today to you to do this video because it is so freaking windy hopefully the audio is going to be okay but the wind is coming in probably 30 miles an hour so uh, these two are identical so I'm just going to take one out of the package Okay, so it's a plastic match case, um, very large. These are the matches. I was going to bring just standard storm matches out. I'll roll in some pictures, but these are massive. Um, you get 12 in the kit, and then you get some spare strikers in a waterproof bag and then you get one striker on the match case this idea isn't that smart to tell you the truth these are not strike anywhere matches and I've gotten these wet before and after this gets wet it doesn't work so it's a cool idea but and the walk and the match case is waterproof but the exterior this will get wet right away so just something to keep in mind, but it's a nice area, hard area to strike. These are box of 25, same exact thing. As you can see, nicely packed in plastic, so they're waterproof. So, it says it's waterproof case with three replaceable strikers and a cord. 12 matches that are windproof, waterproof, and burn up to 25 seconds. Um, Titan Stormproof Match Kit, longest burning windproof and waterproof match. So, that's pretty cool. It got a 2015 award, Editor's Choice Snow, 2015 Backpacker Award. Uh, one other important thing, California Proposition 65 warning, combustion of this manufactured product results in an emission of carbon monoxide, soot, and other combustions, combustion byproducts, which are known by the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or reproductive harm. The match tip in this product contains chlorate materials special handling may apply in California so it's pretty much saying don't use these in California so they're fine to use in the other states but the update people in California recommend you not using these in California so real quick this is a big lighter I use these all the time um, people say they don't work in the cold all you do if they get too cold hold them in your hand your hand will warm them up or just keep them next to your body but you can see you can see the wind just takes it all over and normally blows it out so let's light one of these up real quick and let's just compare and because these are long what I'd recommend is holding it next to the tip. We're in a pretty long time. The wind was blowing, and this 
it's like a mini flare. So I'm going to change camera angles and let's start up a small fire. This right here is some fat wood dust. So So, I'm not a huge fan of matches, but they do have their place, and if I'm going to pack matches, these are the ones I'll pack. Um, I mean, matches are a one-time use um, product. They run out really quick. Big lighters and ferro rods last longer. But there is something to be said, the reliability of matches, as long as you keep them dry. Uh, windy conditions like we're in right now, it's really damp and wet also. Um, and that doesn't seem to be an issue. Um, the packaging is pretty large. I think it's like four inches, you know, it's pretty big, but I'm actually going to keep this in my car survival kit because, um, size and weight and stuff like that doesn't matter that much. But overall, um, pretty cool product. Some critiques, like I talked about, is the striker right here. Another thing is, I don't know why it's two separate colors, it's like a brown or a green and then like a black or a dark gray or something like that. The other thing is cord, I don't know what the purpose is. Um, if they were to put a lanyard, just put a long one so you can wear it around your neck or on your wrist or something like that. Um, but I think, I'll, I'll post a link to Amazon, these are available on Amazon. I believe they're um, between 10 and 15 dollars. Which, yeah, it's kind of pricey, but, uh, I mean, for guaranteed fire, that's not that expensive. Um, especially if it can possibly save your life. Um, I first saw these on Chris Tanner, um, Prepared Mind 101, his channel. Um, but he actually put it in a cup of water, and it was still burning underwater, and then he pulled it out, and it was still on fire. So that's impressive. But, I mean, all in all... Um, if you're going to pack matches, I just pack these ones. You don't even have to use this bulky case. Um, you could just put like five in a small Ziploc bag with a striker. As long as that bag is waterproof, then you're good to go.